Hey guys, okay, today I have a bunch of exciting plans. I just parked here at the boardwalk and I'm heading in to go meet up with friends that I have that are in town. We are actually gonna be eating over at the Beach Club at Beaches and Cream, which I will link. I have a video on I've eaten here recently and it's amazing. And that was my first time when I ate here the other vlog that I have on my channel from Beaches and Cream. That was my first time ever eating at Beaches and Cream and I loved it. I was like, okay, I see where there's all this hype about Beaches and Cream. But yeah, today I'm heading in. Like I said, I have friends in town that I'm gonna meet up with and then probably go over to Epcot, hang out there for a bit. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited. It's beautiful out here, absolutely beautiful. So my friends are currently over hanging out at the beach club in the lobby. So I'm gonna go meet up with them. I am looking forward to getting back to Beaches and Cream. I loved the meal I had last time, and we had the kitchen sink. We went for it, it was really good. The meal that I had last time, I had the French dip sandwich, which I'm a big French dip person, and I was so excited about it, and it was good, but it wasn't my favorite thing. Like, it wasn't the best French dip of all time, by any means. That's probably because I'm from outside of Philadelphia originally, and, and I have to give a shout out to everyone. I mentioned this in that vlog, and people understood what I meant in the comments that I was like, this needs to be on an Amoroso roll. The roll was messing it up for me. I'm like, this isn't, I, I don't know. The roll was what threw the thing off. And so many people when I said that about an Amoroso roll actually got that, so shout out to you guys. But yeah, so because of that, I don't think I'm gonna go with French dip again. I wanna try something different. My one friend that I was with had like the chicken, it was like a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. Maybe go with that, I don't know. Keep you updated. They're doing some type of work here to Abercadabar. Use flying, oh, so it is still open. Use the flying fish entrance to go inside. Okay, good to know. Cause I was like, is the whole thing getting a refurb? I guess just the little outside part. Maybe they're making like more outdoor seating. That'd be cool. Yeah, that was another spot that I recently tried. Abercadabar, really good drinks. Really, really good. It just has a cool vibe in there. Actually, the night that I was there, we ended up sitting outside because it was so packed on the inside. So another time I'd like to come back and maybe sit inside and like get that whole atmosphere because there's a lot of like cool, it's all like magic themed, like you're backstage at a magic show. It's really cool. The ice cream shop also has like a, looks like they're just doing some type of, oh, you can see through here. Construction on the boardwalk part, laying in some pavers or something, okay. Interesting, very interesting. Let's go in the lobby and go find the friends. I know they are in here somewhere hanging out, getting some air conditioning. It is hot out here today, beautiful day. But yes, this is Florida, July. And yeah, it, it, it's hot every single day. <laughs> you guys know me, I will never complain about the heat though. I'm like, I I'll take this, <laughs> I love it. This is what I waited all my life for was to have heat all the time <laughs> but with that being said yes you do need to make sure you take time to hydrate get inside enjoy some air conditioning i've been learning the importance of that okay we're doing it we're getting the kitchen sink there's five of us so we we can handle this we got this Okay, flash forward, we are now in Epcot. So I met up with my friends, we went to Beaches and Cream. That was amazing. We got the kitchen sink, as you saw in the last clip. I did have that chicken bacon ranch cheddar sandwich. It was amazing. I would get that again, that was really good. Highly recommend that one, but yeah, then it was just so fun. And um, my friends, their kids were like so into the kitchen sink. It was adorable. And we did finish a decent chunk. We're gonna say we finished the whole thing. Keep that between us, but yeah, it was good. So now we are here in Epcot. They actually had a lightning lane for Frozen Ever After, so I'm waiting for them. And then we're gonna reconvene and do some more rides. I think we wanna hit um, Mexico, because they said they haven't done that yet this trip. We're gonna do the Mexico boat ride. We're gonna do Figment, Living with the Land, because they also appreciate living with the land the way I appreciate living with the land. So that's gonna be fun. There's so many crows in Epcot today. They're being sassy, just flying around here. 
it's so fun being here with my friends that, like I said, they have little kids, and it's like seeing that magic of Disney through their eyes, it just, it warms my heart. It's amazing. That's also a good time to mention, if you guys are looking to plan your vacation here to Walt Disney World, check out my friends over at 407 and Beyond Vacation Company. They are such an incredible team of travel planners. They're gonna be able to elevate your vacation to the next level. You can get started anytime with them with a free, no obligation quote at 407vacations.com. So yeah, my friends are riding Frozen. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around. It's interesting, we were saying, I have not seen Epcot this empty in a long time because it's in between festivals right now. Today is July 7th, no, July 8th today. And yeah, it's kind of nuts. Like it's, we're in between festivals. Flower and Garden ended on July 4th. And I think kind of the 4th of July crowds have gone home. Like, look at this, I have not seen. I have not seen Epcot like this in a long time. There's, there's like, feels like old times. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, as much as I love the Epcot festivals, in between festivals, definitely a good time. Good time to hit the parks. Who else remembers when this was Maelstrom and the boulder wasn't right there and you could see the boats like coming out before they went down the drop? I do miss that. I, I miss seeing that. I wish that they would have left that open still, you know? I guess it would kind of give spoilers of, you know, you'd see the um, snow monster in there. Is that his name? Yeah, the snow monster. I don't know, Mr. Lizard, help me. What was it called? Yeah. That was one of the things for me, like, as a kid, I remember, like, being fascinated that it looked like it was nighttime in here know, during the too. day. Yeah. Is it actually nighttime? No. They make it look like it. Doesn't yeah. it seem like it is? <laughs> is that like an issue for you guys this 4th of July? Like, yeah, a lot of people. So this is what we have in between festivals when there's no topiary. We got, we got ducks. And duck yellow, oh yeah, her babies are in there. See, they're like, like, they're moving. You can kind of tell. Yeah, we all get our cameras. <laughs> like, this has to be documented. And then that squirrel. Oh, and a squirrel. There's so much more movement. Because I no, think there's, there's no flowers. Yeah, they probably love this. They're like, we weren't able to get in here before. That's true. And now they're like, wait, they when we it. pop up, yeah, there's there's nothing covering us. They probably also like this I can't. The way she just said, well, periodically, it's like, um, just like the peri prairie dog yeah. or something. Like, pop the head up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And, and I love that so many people are stopping to take pictures too. I know. The ducks are literally like, what? Why are they famous right now? You're <laughs> famous. They're, they're better than the Mickey and Minnie Topiary. Mama's <laughs> dying. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Got your nose covered. <laughs> I feel like I did this somewhere as a kid. Like, how fun is this? How many of you done this? The girls are getting, yeah, the powdered candy. Well, what'd you go for? I'm getting like... <laughs> you got a little bit of everything? Oh, what are you getting? Oh, yours is so colorful. I love it. Okay. So, oh, sweet birthday cake flavor? Do you want birthday cake? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got, what's the yellow one? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, you now you got sour wild cherry. Oh yeah, I feel like that's gonna be really good birthday cake. Top it off with the birthday cake. So now the girls got their sugar fix. Second sugar fix after a kitchen sink. Now we're gonna look for, they have up here the Chase Visa card meet and greet for Minnie Mouse. So that's what we're gonna go do next. Okay, so it's real hidden up here. But yeah, just near the jumping fountains. If you come up those steps from Figment, this is the Disney Rewards Chase Visa photo spot. You gotta like know it's back here. I love the wall with Spaceship Earth vibes. Oh, this is, I just like this room. I just wanna be in here. As an Epcot purist, I, I approve of this. Oh, look at that. So if you have a Chase Visa card, which I, I have a Chase Visa, Visa Disney, it has to be the Disney Visa card. Thank you, Jackie. Yes, if you have the Disney Visa card, then can they be in there? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay. Girls, are you ready to meet Minnie? Yes. Yes. I 
It's just too much sugar, and I've only had like. <laughs> it's only like this much. And you had a kitchen sink. Yeah. You guys did very well. We <laughs> Nothing to be going all day. You're all day. You know. All day. <laughs> so yes, if you have the Disney Chase Visa card, you can come do this. And like seriously, we're the next ones in line. And, yeah, we waited no time at all. We just walked in. We walked in. And we're gonna get to meet It's a fun one. So yes, I'm here with Jackie and Justin, and we got the girls, Colleen and Claire. <laughs> We're having so much fun. We did Beaches of Cream. Everyone enjoyed their meal? It was very yeah. good. Yeah. First time there, and I loved it. You loved it? We just had it. This is going to go on Meg's YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to go over to the world. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be all over the world. <laughs> Oh, it's our turn to see Minnie. Oh, oh and Pluto. Oh. Oh. I love the color Pluto. That is fabulous. Oh, we need hugs. Go ahead and go to the park. Absolutely. I love it. Thank you. You look good. Yeah, I love Minnie. She needed herself. Oh, we saw Minnie at Magic Kingdom in his dress, in his outfit for the video. It was so nice and really she helped us out Pluto, all the time. Pluto, what's your mom, buddy? Yeah. yeah. I love that bandana. Yes, you have a matching bandana. Oh, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> we need to dazzle that as well. Oh, Minnie, you're very talented. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny. Do you guys want to take one and then we'll take a group photo? Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> oh, oh, Minnie. Oh, can we see a twirl? We love the twirls. Oh, look at that dress. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Well, oh. you have all the puppy play dates you want with Pluto. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you looking for a good home? <gasps> you gotta take Pluto oh, home. No, no, no. Oh, oh, Minnie's like, no, no. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Pluto's hurt. Pluto's hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're okay. You're okay. Minnie definitely have some puppy play dates though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There I love you go. Yes, Minnie. Yes. Beautiful. Right. Bye Thank guys. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye Pluto. <laughs> you were trying to get Pluto was going to come home with you guys. Let's see. Here it comes. It should then come back this way. Yeah, look. Here it comes. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay, I think next up we're doing living with the land. And I'm with people who also appreciate living with the land the way I do. So, I, I <laughs> that makes me very happy. <laughs> I love it, Claire is famous! Claire. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> Living with the land! <laughs> it, it is blue now. Oh, it's like a fish shower. They have to import it, yeah. I know. Yes, I love the smells in here. Hey, Mickey! Mickey. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun to make. Could you have one of them in your backyard? Make like a succulent Mickey. You'd never leave your backyard if it was like this. I know. I want one of these in my backyard. One day. That's the China one. Is that the barbecue one? It smells like barbecue Meg. <laughs> And she goes, no! <laughs> okay, here we go. Space to first time. Yes. Are we gonna make our features? Yes. yes. <laughs> so, yeah, this is seriously a walk on this ride. We waited not even five minutes. Like, we didn't stop. We just walked continually. Crowd levels today at Epcot have been amazing, right? Amazing. Oh, there's all the stars. Okay, you're gonna make our future? Okay, what are you most interested in? Home. Okay, let's see what you make for your home. Uh, Latest technology or conserving nature? I'm gonna do this one because I technology. Can nature oh yeah, that's smart. You get to see both. I'm In country. country? Where would you like to Which chore do you like the least? Cleaning or cooking? I'm pretty sure I cook cleaning. And I actually really like cooking, but I just want to do it. You everything. just want to see? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's smart. So, what's the hardest decision? What clothes to buy or what to wear each day? What do you remember what you did last time? I'm pretty sure I did that one. Okay. Very good. You, how do you like to start your morning? Watching TV or planning the day? Oh, I, I literally, there's if, if I didn't do the TV one, then I'm lying to myself. Then you're lying to yourself. 
so, um, oh, definitely let's not. see the hover train. Okay, I'm excited to see our future. Like, you pretend to be sleeping. Oh, I think that's good for when you're waking up. <laughs> oh, there we go. I'm sitting having my coffee. It's like that, yeah. yeah, what happened to my head there? <laughs> I got something coming out the top of my head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's clothes for us. Or should I say, so from Spaceship Earth, which was literally a walk-on, to now another walk-on. The Seas with Nemo. It's posted at a five minute, but girls, do you think we're just gonna walk? We'll probably just walk right to the front. Mine. All right, you ready, Claire? We're gonna go. <laughs> Hold your breath, yeah. <laughs> them do this. <laughs> Man, seriously, even if you don't have kids, it's worth it to come see this show and sit in the back and you know you listen to it. It's just funny. Yes, yeah, some of the things the kids say in this show, I love it. it it's so comical. <laughs> so it's kind of like a random album. Yeah, oh, that's cool. One, two, and three. Awesome, Thomas. Now put it together and let's hear it loud. Say, totally sweet. Totally sweet. Oh, uh, no. Oh, real whale. No, what? Sorry. Little blue, look out. Like, right behind you. Oh. <laughs> Dudes, be sure to use the word dude as much as you can for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, your parents are going to love it. You're welcome, Sarah. All right, later yeah. days, dudes. So we've had an exciting turn of events. Me and the gang here. Wait, what did you say? Hey guys, okay, so I want to give a bit of a narration to the end of this video. So we end up having a very exciting last minute impromptu thing happen. We got in at the Coral Reef restaurant. We had no reservation, but just walked up. They happened to have availability and it was so fun to sit in there. I had a Caesar salad and the New England clam chowder, which was amazing. And the girls had kids meals and oh my gosh, they were so cute. I love the little jello with like the sand and shark on top. It was adorable. So then we went over to the land pavilion. We found a mouse. We literally have a Mickey Mouse in Epcot. Oh my goodness. Right now we're trying to make it into Living with the Land to do Soarin'. And we are in the rain. But we're making it. We rode Soarin' right at the end of the night, which was so fun. And it was a walk-on. And then me and the gang, we headed out of Epcot right at fireworks. And it poured on us as we were leaving, but we were dancing in the rain and heading out and it was just so fun. And it was just such a perfect day. Like seriously, it was so fun to experience Disney with kids. Seeing Disney through Colleen and Clara's eyes was like so amazing and something that I just loved getting to be a part of. It was an incredible day, but thank you guys for watching this video. Please give the video a thumbs up, leave me some comments, all those things, your likes, comments, subscription. It goes such a far way in helping to support me and the channel. So with that, make today magical and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys.